there goes Michigan and Ohio. Mr. Trump, please listen. Your trade war is hurting your own people. That's what dictators do. Petty disputes should not be born on the backs of the consumer. You're protecting a few small industries and you're hurting a lot of big industries and you're hurting every single consumer of products just because of a spat with China that's just hurting their own people. Remember, China is when it dumps, it's hurting its own people. Okay? We can withstand it. China is not going to bend because they're in the hands of oligarchs who get political power by thumbing their noses at the West. So President Xi, he's not harmed politically by your trade war. The government of China right now is subsidizing industries for whom there are higher prices. They're paying it for those industries. You're not going to defeat that. Meanwhile, every week that goes on, you make steel prices go higher. Mary Barra at GM, which just laid off a lot of people, she was quite diplomatic in not talking about the steel hikes. They make trucks. They use lots of steel in those trucks. And they can't just pass on those higher prices to consumers. Not in a fiercely competitive auto market where consumers buy internationally. She can't do it. Don't demand it. Trade wars never have winners. We know this from history. We should know it from the hurting economics of people across the United States and even more so in states that were loyal to you in this last election, Michigan, Ohio with steel producing car plants are really hurting because of your trade war. End it now. Republicans in Congress, you could do this without Trump's going along. Congress has the authority. Use it. Use it for good. I'm Mark Stewart Greenstein.